Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Countess of Champions video. So it's season 48, and this is war number 8. And looks like we're going up against an alliance called The Who. Wasn't that a, a, a band? If I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but anyway, let's see, who did they ban? Ooh, Bishop, Wiccan, and my boy Iceman. Oh boy. All right, let's see what they got planned. Let's see, spectate that a little bit. All right, so as you saw last time, we're not bringing a Magneto in for that future Ant-Man. Okay, so that frees us up to bring in somebody else. Let's see who we got over here. Ooh, Weapon X. <laughs> I can bring in uh, Lady Deathstrike if I want to. And let's see, Hulkling can handle. Yeah, Hulkling can handle. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Odin is a defense, a global defender. Hmm. Okay. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Odin is not a very difficult uh defender so i'll just bring in um hmm, i bring in claire so claire lady death strike yep there's super scroll right there yeah that's perfect claire hulkling and lady death strike that will do it let me see is there anybody else that i can take Um, probably that domino. Yeah, power sting. Yeah, I could probably take that domino if I need to. So we'll we'll see how uh, the assignments go. Uh, definitely a little bit different in the assignments here. Um, so we'll see. All right, let's get on with the fighting. Okay, so I'm going in with Hulkling. Look at that, Claire, and who's that in the middle? Yeah, Deathless Guillotine. Should I should tell you something about uh, what's gonna happen in this war, but it may not be what you think. So anyway, first fight is against uh, Moon Dragon here, and I've not really found her to be a difficult defender i try not to push it to her special two though because sometimes she's unblockable and i haven't practiced uh evading that special two and it can wreck you so i try to uh bait out her special one okay so we just go in look at this and we're gonna bait out that special mm -hmm. wait this out because you can't hit a know-how all right, all right, she's trying to back it up, but it ain't gonna work. All right, now I got my special two. So now I wanna hit into her block. Ooh, unblockable. And it's lights out, just like that. So like I said, I haven't found her to be uh, too difficult uh, of a defender. 25 seconds, pretty good, pretty good. Now this next fight, I actually messed up. I messed up, y'all. So I want y'all to, you probably uh, didn't have time to read that, but let me just explain. On this node, when they have an armor up, they're nullify immune. I discovered that right here and I remembered, I was like, oh crap. So now I got to deal with special lock. I'm getting drained and I'm taking damage. And he has an armor up that I cannot remove. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? And so I'm trying things out, right? And I'm like, okay, stay in Curse of Blood. I probably should have cycled once, but look at this. Get some health back. Okay, we might be able to do this. All right, this is why I like Claire. All right, very versatile. So 
Here we go. And then look at it. I, I don't know why that happens, okay? So now I'm just like, okay, well, I lost it. But I'm going to go down swinging, okay? Still in Curse of Blood. And that um, poison is keeping me from really healing. So that's why I said I should have cycled uh, once to get rid of it. And then I would have been uh, in a better place. I could have healed much better. But look at this. And not only am I having to deal with all of that, but I got to deal with the indestructibles too. So I'm like, okay. And I'm just, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Now, the reason that I started doing heavy attacks is because you get more dam uh, more power when you're doing that. So I'm like, I need to get to a special two. I don't need to get hit by anything now, but I need to get to a special two. So, ah, look at that. Ah, boom. Okay. Get some of that health back. Look at that. He's down. 4%. Ooh, got him. I was so freaking nervous. I had totally forgotten about the immunity. But I could have done that fight better going into it. Now, I would cycle through and I would do that. I would just parry, heavy, parry, heavy, fire my uh, special two in Curse of Blood, slow play it, heal up. And we're good, okay? But, oh my goodness. I was, uh, right after the fight started and I saw that immune text pop up on the right-hand side, I knew I had messed up. I was like, I do not believe I did that. But anyway, we got through it. Claire showing that she is still my girl. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I've been thinking about ascending her, but I know that they're going to eventually bring her as a, a seven star. They messed up one time and showed us that maybe she's coming, but then they took her away. I was not happy. Other people were, but they don't like Claire. But you can see Claire, she's good. All right. So anyway, we've got this fight, which has now become routine for him look at that damage now even though i didn't take him out right there look at this oh 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 just nasty with it so hulkling that's who i'm going to be taking uh that future ant-man with from now on okay unless i see a place where i can use uh magneto in more than one fight but I'm not going to bring Magneto for just that one fight anymore. Now, this fight, if you guys have been watching, you know that Claire eats him alive. On this note, it, it's, not even, it's not even fair what she does to him. And we're going to watch that. I want you all to see. Now, I decided to put in a nice advanced power boost. So, we could have a little fun. I want y'all to watch the fun. All right, already got uh, one bar of power. Look at the damage she's already doing. All right, boom, boom, boom. Right into a special two. Look at that. Ugh. Nasty with it. Do another one. Right to a special two again. And the fight is over. Let's see how long that took, shall we? For those of you who hate Claire, Let's see, what did Claire do? Oh, look, 16 seconds. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna play around with my Claire. All right, so anyway, I was supposed to take a fight. Someone else took it, but I hadn't joined yet. So I had someone, uh, a spot free because I was gonna bring Lady Deathstrike to deal with that Weapon X over there. So, First, they asked me to come in and help with that bullseye, but he had forgotten that they banned Iceman because that's who I was going to bring for that um, bullseye. So they asked me to come in and just finish off this Killmonger. Now, we're going to watch. I want to show you guys what a BS fight this is. Look at the polka dot power. Look at the stunning reflection. Look at the brute force. Okay? And then remember, Killmonger, already difficult, 
And then remember that Killmonger is a global defender. Okay? So you have a limited number of people that are going to be able to take him out. They've already banned a few that would have been able to take him out uh, easily. So now watch what happens. Now, I have not done this fight before, right? So I'm like, okay. You know, I'm like, all right, what, what's so hard about this fight? Oh, wait a minute. He's indestructible. Hold up. How am I supposed to get rid of his indestructible? Huh? If I parry him to get rid of the indestructible, the uh, stunning reflection will stun me and I'll die. Okay. Hmm. I can hit into his block. Oh, wait, he fires a special one. You hit into the block, and that's over with. Huh. So I'm sitting here going, this is interesting. What you supposed to do? Now, thinking about it later, uh, you can parry his special attacks. I don't know if that will work, because I never tried it. But I believe you can you know, parry the special attacks, which don't, you know, won't trigger a stun, so you won't have the reflection, and that might be a way to get rid of the uh, indestructible, okay? So now I'm, I'm trying Claire, but I'm like, okay, there's his indestructibles again, all right? Now, you saw I parried, and I got rid of it, but then I decked, and then he went right up. I was like, okay, wait a minute. What is going on with this fight? here so at this point in time you know i i'm not even worried about you know we don't have no um uh, ab that he, he he basically was done with this uh whole meta really um which a lot of people are but now this was a puzzle for me so now i'm like ooh, i gotta see if i could figure out a way to get this guy down let's let's keep playing around right so now, I want you to notice something. I'm trying to... It, um, okay, I messed up right there. But I'm changing up a style. See, once he has that indestructible, I don't really see a way to get rid of it. So, there is a couple of ways to deal with this guy. You can basically not worry about the indestructible and fight in a way that he won't get any indestructibles okay then you don't need an ex magica you can go in with someone else you know like someone who is perhaps stun immune okay um they may not be ex magica but if they're stun immune at least you can get, you know, some little openings or whatever, okay? But um, at least for this uh, fight here with who I brought in, I'm just cycling through because I'm like, huh. And then see, now I got, he, he has the indestructible again, but see, he did that because I was gonna go in and hit his block because I was like, wait a minute, he hasn't fired the special one yet, but he seems to love firing that special one. That's the special you don't want him to fire, you know, because you can't parry him normally because of the stunning reflection. And then you can't hit into his block to get rid of the indestructible. So I'm just like, wow. I said, this is interesting. I said, so uh, kudos, Kabam. This, this is what you uh, created. And I'm like, now I want you to see that. Did you notice that he did not get an armor? Um, see, look at that. You saw that? He didn't get indestructible. And you know that Hulkling is not an ex magica. But then I messed up there. So I'm learning here, right? So you saw, now at this point, I just said, okay, go ahead. Because I don't have any way to, to get rid of the uh, indestructible. So I'm just like, just, just go finish it off but i noticed i said wait a minute i was able to do what um dorky diggity dave called a um not a shallow evade 
but a, a deep evade where you evade, but you don't trigger the decks. Okay. So you see here, look at this. I'm, I'm starting to, um, look at that. So I'm going in, going in. All right. And you see, I blocked it. I did not try to dex. And you saw he didn't get an indestructible. So it's a very annoying fight. But I see now at least one way I can do it. Okay. Um, so I'm like, all right. So here we go. See how I, I evaded that. No dex. Okay. And I'm holding, holding. There we go. No dex. No indestructible. Okay. He's got a bleed on him. All right. I can hit into the block because he did not do a special one. Look at this. All right. Now I'm blocking all of this. Okay. Go back in. No indestructible. No indestructible. Y'all see this, right? Okay. Look at that. Dash back. But then I messed up. Not sure how I did it, but I messed up. All right. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Boom. I'm like, oh, yeah. I got this now. Bam. Got him down. All right. So finally, at the end, I saw at least a way to take him down. But that is a very annoying fight. Okay, that is not fair. Anyway, that's going to do it for my participation in this war. We'll be back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Um, but anyway, uh, you saw how this war went. They had good placement and they died less. Uh, take a look here. Look at the attack bonus. We both had full, di you know, defender diversity, um, but they just died less. <laughs> you know, no, no question about it. Um, shout out to our MVPs here. Uh, but anyway, can't win them all. Let's get them next time. All right. So take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.